I decided to go out while my sourdough video is rendering and I'm gonna go buy me some rostisseria chicken. Maybe some flowers too. Really beautiful skies right now. Just look at that. And now I'm going to walk over here and show you this hill. And sorry, I'm not using my gimbal today, so it's a little shaky. The hill. And it just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> There's a salon over there. And I've been wanting to get some microblading on my almost non existent eyebrows. And they do it. All right, so I am basically walking from Colonia Bella Vista back over to Colonia Maraquin. I think I said that right. Um, that street that we were on has all the different vendors, the, the butcher, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. <laughs> um, but I know they had a flower shop and I would like to have some flowers. It's been a while. And of course they have the rotisserie chicken. I think it's time that I visit the, the rotis, rostisseria. I think I said that right. Rostisseria. Okay. And you know, I'm probably gonna stop and get me some helado as well. me in about 10 minutes. Bye. Oh look, my little puppy dog is still hanging out in the same spot over by the butcher. I think there's a plan in action here. Oh, Pedro, you're looking for a treat? Oh, you're back, you wanna to talk to me, huh? One chicken came with all the tortilla and the slaw, and I got me a piña and tamarindo picante. Gonna have a good meal tonight. Okay. Oh. Mm. Hola. <laughs> ¿Cuánto cuesta? Sí, sí, ¿cuánto se le puede hacer uno? ¿Cuánto puede ser? ¿Qué? Mmm, muy 
and I just got a really nice bouquet of flowers. Aren't they lovely? He even freshened up the bouquet with nicer roses. I got to try to figure out how much that was. My Spanish is not good. I just handed him money. He handed money back. When it's time, this. When it's time, this. I'm not kidding when I say you walk uphill both ways. Walking up here was walking uphill and now I'm walking downhill and I'm about to walk back up another hill. I really kind of like living here. I'm not gonna lie. If I was gonna live in San Miguel, I probably would live out here or in an area like this. I could potentially consider some place like Colonia Guadalupe, but there's it's it's part of the old town, you know, and there's nowhere to park. A lot of people don't have garages, so. Yeah, nah. Something like this would be better. Okay. Buenas tardes, señorita. Buenas tardes. <laughs> now for the hill. This hill is going to kill me. I'm not even joking. I'm already tired. I'm half a block in and I'm dying. Let's just watch this car for a minute and kind of wish we were in it. Okay, bye car. All right. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim. And here it comes. Now I'm going to be all out of breath and sweaty, losing steam. All right, that is one block down, two more to go. Maybe what I'll do is I'll edit out all my huffing and puffing and then I'll put music in. Happy music. Right. Yeah. This is where I take a break. It wasn't much of a break. I still have the entire development to climb. Hi. It's like one of those movies where you look at the point in the horizon and it just gets stretched out and gets further and further away. There's a reason why it's got a beautiful view. You can see the parochia right over there in the distance. Okay. It's enough of a rest. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Boy, that's a workout. Okay, here we go. Back into the hood. Oh, I'll just cut them right here. This works. Then I don't have to get special permission. Ta-da! 
It's me. <laughs> it's me, oh. <laughs> Got it. It's Buen. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> And we're going to take a shortcut down through the pool. Walking up through the pool was a whole lot easier than walking up the hill. So my estimation is it's just as good going down this way. And you get to see some lovely flowers. What is this growing on this cactus? That doesn't look healthy. That doesn't look like anything we saw at the botanical garden. That looks like a fungus or some kind of disease. All right. We have another pool down here. The upper pool is a little more shallow than this one. pretty much down in the section. We live in this row directly ahead. Whew, it is so refreshing in here, especially after that hill. So what I need now is something that I can put these flowers in. Oh, I found something and it's perfect. Ta-da! Beautiful. It's so very, so very appropriate. Now, he actually took a really sharp blade and he trimmed all the stems off, but I was just walking in the hot sun. So I'm gonna trim them again. And then I'm gonna stick them in this water. I think I'm gonna go find me an aspirin to crush up as well, because unlike grocery stores and things, this didn't come with plant food. Aspirin, that's what we need. Well, I completely failed at finding aspirin. I thought we had aspirin. I'm pretty confident we have a huge thing of aspirin, but I think Mark might have it in his travel bag. So all I could find was a generic Excedrin. Okay, so Excedrin is aspirin, acetaminophen, and caffeine. And caffeine's acidic. Aspirin is acidic. I don't know if acetaminophen is. Either way, I'm either gonna kill these flowers or make them live longer, so it's time to smash the Excedrin. And boop, just like that, cinematography and magic, we have crushed Excedrin. And now I'm gonna take said Excedrin and I'm gonna stick it in this water. Okay, I'm going to push it with my fingers into this water. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it be in this water. Hopefully it will dissolve. As you can see, it's floating on the top. So let's see. And it's probably going to sink to the bottom. That's okay. All right. That's all right. I'll let it do what it's doing. Okay. Now he did trim the ends on these pretty good. I'm going to do it one more time simply because I've been out in some dry, semi-dry, warm air. And what happens is there are capillaries, just like there are in the human body. There's capillaries in these stems that suck water up to the flowers. And they will seal themselves off if they're left to do so. So time to take care of that. And there you go. 
I got them in that pot, got them nice and trim. I left the rubber band around them. Or as they would say back in my old backyard, I left that gum band on it. <laughs> the gum band stayed. And here are my beautiful flowers. I'm so happy. I put them right here on a table so I can enjoy them while I eat my dinner. And look, I think Margie likes them. These warm tortilla, this warm chicken that she cut up for me. We got picante tamarindo and picante pena in the sauces. And we got this really yummy slaw. Yes. Time to make dinner. We'll get a couple, you know what? I'll get a few. I'm gonna get two tortilla each. It gets two. Yup. And two more. Yup. We're going to rip open this covered chicken. Oh my gosh, it just smells amazing. Okay, and I am partial to thigh meat, so I'm going to pull out a thigh this. Oh gosh, that's so good. Pull some meat off of that. Spread it around. Share the love on these tortillas. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It smells so good. I wish you could smell this. I'm glad you're here watching me do this, though. You're keeping me some company. I'm gonna say that. You're keeping me company. And, um, as I spend a weekend alone. <laughs> Pulling all the meat off of this that I can get. Make my tortillas. Okay, I think I got most of it. I'll come back later for more if I want to. All right, so there's some meat on there. Okay, that's good. I don't know, probably could put a little more meat on there. Okay, now it's time for this slaw, which I'll end up keeping the jalapenos and chopping them up for my breakfast sandwich. But I will use this slaw. Now, I'm gonna taste it. It's got some kind of dressing on it, and it's definitely spicy. Maybe jalapeno juice, I don't know. But we'll put some of that on there. Mmm, good stuff. Okay, and then, we're gonna open up these sauces. I'm a real big fan of these sauces. I got them the last time. Okay, so this is the pina. Oh yeah. We'll do one pina. That's got some heat. And tamarindo. Mm, I'm making a mess. This one's a little thicker. Not as spicy as the pena, frankly. Guys, that's dinner. There we go. I got me two tortillas. I got me some flour. You know what's missing? I'm missing a beverage. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have us some Cap'n and Coke. Yeah. And I got these really good ice trays right here that make these big round ball ice cubes. do one of my cream mezcals, but I just don't feel like um, it's a good mix. I feel like this is a, a lighter beverage and goes really well with my tortilla. All right, well, here we go. 
Mm. Oh, that's nice. Not real strong. I don't. I don't really like it that strong. Just a hint of the rum. And uh, I cannot wait. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I am excited. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, the heat is there. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Picante. Muy picante. Mm. I think my lips are tingling a little bit. Oh, but it's so good. And I do like spicy. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people find that shocking. You know who really finds it shocking that I like spicy? Mexican nationals. <laughs> Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. mm. It's delicious. I've got my flowers. I've got Margie staring me down. Got a little bit of exercise today. Got some fresh air. My nose is running. Like, I don't want to sound gross. I should go get a tissue is what I should do. But, but this is so good. Mmm. There is no way Mark would have this tamarindo picante. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He would not. This would give him scalp sweat. <laughs> mm, but it is good you know what I think tonight I may go up there and use that jacuzzi by myself maybe I'll take the flowers up there with me so I can smell the flowers